Welcome to the RVDO tutorial on box pots in R part two. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so we're going back to our cycler data. I know you're all probably tired of it by now, but we have it downloaded. It's easy to use and we can read it in easily. We're all familiar with it. So why uh, rock the boat here? Why not just keep going with what we've been going with? All right, so what we did last time was we made a box plot and we did it for exactly one of these. Now what we'd like to do is do some side-by-side -side blocks plots and uh, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, kind of easy to do because the problem is is you have to have the data organized correctly. So I'm gonna make one here and we can look at it and then we can see what we think about it afterwards. So I'm gonna use the box plot function. I have my cycler one data. And then I'm going to put CPK1. And then right next to it, I'm going to put Cycler1, dollar sign, CPK2, oops, CPK2, and then Cycler3, or nope, Cycler1, CPK3, and then Cycler1, CPK4. And let's just see what this does. Okay, so we're going to highlight this, we're going to give this a go, and what do we see is we see our box plots right next to each other. But we have one, two, three, and four down along the bottom, um, which, um, do we even know what that means? Uh, it totally depends on what the actual code is. We also need some labels on this, so, so let's get this going, put some labels on it, uh, and see what we can do so this would be our y label and our y label again is cpk our x label well we don't really have an x label what we have are names and name shows up again and so what we want to do is we want to put our names in here time one and we're making it a vector of text time two and it needs to match what we actually have here uh, in terms of the number of columns. So we're, we have four boxes, so we need to have four times or four names here. And I'm going to actually put a space in there, see if it'll handle the space. And we'll see what it looks like. Uh, notice this doesn't have the main statement yet, but we're working on it. So let's give this a go, see what, what this did. And... Zoom in, and notice now we have CPK along this side, and it actually says time one, time two, times three, times four, and that allows us to compare across them. All right, let's dock this up a little bit more, and, and if we wanted to, we can add some color to it. So let's add some color. So uh, I can make this a vector, and I can put in colors along the way. So I can do green, and if I have a list of four, we can see what happens. Let's say blue red and I'm gonna go for purple this time. I don't think I've done purple yet. And let's see what this looks like. It sh might be nice looking, it might be hideous. Who knows? Let's let's give it a go. So we've done this, we've zoomed in and now we have these colors in here. Now we need to put a title on the top. So this is our title. We'll put in here main like usual and our title is going to be box plot of CPK across time because that is what is along our x-axis and once we do this we get this reasonably nice side-by-side -side box plot. So we have side by side. And if you notice, the one thing we're looking for here is we're looking to see if any of these look any different. And here they don't. Um, and that's partially an artifact of our data. But the other big thing that I have a problem with this is this isn't what we want to know. Uh, we can make it side by side using this technique. And if there, you have your data in a wide format, you just put each column in and that works well. The big problem is this is not what we're interested in. Let's let's go back and look at our data and actually see what we're interested in. So I'm going to open it up in the little view here. And if you notice, 
I, I'm doing something to these people. There's subjects, there's age, there's gender, and then there's this thing, treatment. And notice that the treatment, these people got no treatment, and then I have some with low treatment, some with medium, some people with high, again, some people with none. And that's really what I want to compare is, did my treatment work? Not did they stay the same or differ across time. So that's where we're going to have to take our file here, and we're going to have to turn it from a wide file into a long file, and then we can look at the differences across the treatment types. But that's in the next video, so we're moving on.